So, hello everyone, and in this video I'm going to show you how to fix many problems uh, connected to your update of Unity. So in my case, I used Unity 4 uh, when I was working on this project. So I'm going to show you how it looked in Unity 4. So I had a car uh, which uh, I mentioned uh, in my previous video, so it's a car I made with the help of tutorials made by Flat Tutorials. And this is a car, how it looked at, uh, back in Unity 4. So you can see that I don't have any problem, everything is working correctly, physics, simulation, and uh, you know, the system of um, breaking the parts from the car so this car can be uh, you know can be de can be destroyed so if you hit some wall really really hardly so it can be destroyed this is how it looked back in unity 4 you can see so uh, the uh, front wind uh, uh, glass is broken so the same way I can use you know to detach front and back uh, doors from car, a hood and many many other uh, car parts from the cars can be detached. And now I'm going to show you how it looked at when I just imported Unity 4 project into Unity 5. So here we go. Um, this is uh, my Unity. So this is a project. I'm going to open for you the same scene I I used it in my previous aim uh, so what I showed you in my in my game so uh, this is where old one old one deformation 24th so this was uh, 24th of, sep of September 2014 so I'm going to launch it and you can see that it's just uh, what it look at uh, back in unity 4 so uh, so the simple car and now you know the skybox is little you know changed be because y unity 5 has uh, a procedural skybox and you know don't look at it okay so and now if I import my project from unity 4 to unity 5 it will uh, look like this so I hit play button and I start to use it. And you can see that my wheel colliders are uh, not working correctly with physics 3. You know, Unity uh, 5 now uses uh, updated version of physics. Uh, so it was version number 2, now it's version number 3. So in many aspects in your physics in your game will be completely different. So in my case I have my speed uh, not regulated. I have my uh, my wheels are not working correctly, so you you can see it uh, when I do this. And you know, uh, and speedometer cannot calculate speed normally because the speed is not regulated. And now I'm going to show you how to fix this very easily, just very easy. So first of all. Uh, I so in my case I changed mass of my car so uh, it's like 100 times smaller now it's not 2048 it's now only 20 then I go to my wheel colliders and I change their mass from 1 to 10 so the mass of wheels now so each wheel is now 10 times uh, you know mm, you know so the weight so you know so like you know uh, 10 times bigger so this value mass is 10 times bigger now also I change it here such values like uh, extremum slip for forward friction and for sideways friction so now it's 
has this value so 0, 0,5 0, 0,5 I, I know it's not correct but for now it's just working and stiffness in my case uh, for all wheels it's now 5 and 5 instead of 1 and now you feel difference so I hit uh, no I forgot one thing so I have here I have uh, anti-roll anti-roll bars scripts attached to my car so I disable them all and I hit play and now you will feel different so now the car is moving the way it moved in a uh, unity 4 so this is how I very easily uh, fix it my wheel colliders in unity uh, 5 so it's so it's very easy actually so now you can see that I uh, so some parts of my car were detached so physics is working correctly uh, so you know not so correctly because the physics was working not correctly in my U unity 4 but it's you know the good stuff is that I imported my physics back into unity 5 so now you can see that it's working good so yeah actually actually that that's all guys it's very easy to import your wheel colliders uh, uh, stuff from unity 4 to unity 5 you just need to change some values in your in your inspector so that's all guys thanks for watching I hope this video helped you to fix your problem with unity uh, 5 new physics engine I mean update of uh, update of physics engine yeah so once again thanks for watching have a good time bye 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 and have a good time see you later in the in 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 next video of something very interesting or maybe not very interesting bye stop recording no